to me, I've got a control panel that I'm building for a Levette machine and Abbott rubber in Chicago. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys that it actually works. And if you're wondering about the wine, it's like, was he drinking that while he built it? Well, of course I was. Let's see what this thing does. See if you like it. So let's do a general overview of the control panel. So I always arrange these from left to right. Here's your AC input. A couple circus breakers there. And this little guy's a fuse for the 24 volt supply. This would be your AC distribution blocks. And over here is your operator input blocks for like your crimp mode, your e-stop, reset, etc. Over here, we have the output devices, such as the door, the shuttle, your crimp operation, and your lubes, okay? We've got a couple of relays here. These are on delays and off delay relays made by Phoenix Contact. Crimp relay, here's your master E stop function, and this turns on the vibrator, which shuttles down the parts, right? Now here, we've got the 24 volt control circuit, which does your banner fiber optic to detect the part. A couple of relays there would make all that happen. And then what I had to do, you don't get this, this is mine. I built this beautiful little control panel. So this is to simulate the inputs and test the operations, as well as these neons to show you the status of the outputs. And of course, I spent a lot of money on this post, you know. You got the vibe on, and you got the happy light to tell you everything's wonderful and I'm ready to run. Here we go. Currently, the machine is in idle mode, meaning there's no outputs. Everything's off. She's just waiting. 24 volt supply is on. I have to go here, and the operator says, I'm ready to operate. He hits a reset. When he hits that, you get the happy light, and the vibrator starts up. Still no outputs. So here we are. The vibrator's running, trying to dispense parts. We have no outputs. The cutter dispenses a hose and does the cut. At that point, I get the signal in saying I made the cut. Let's go to the digital outs and watch. Here's the on delay. The door toggled and the hose fell. So at this point, the operator says, I've got a part in there. I'm going to hit the knee switch. Okay, so we hit the knee switch. Let's go back to the outputs. You saw the crimp. The lube stay on for a delay and shut off. That was a crimp operation. Now, let's say that there is no part being detected by the fiber optic. Right now, we're saying the part's okay, which means we can crimp, right? But let's say that the part's not okay. In that case, we're not okay, and we are shuttling in a new part. So the part is in place. Now, I can hit the knee switch, and off we go, okay? Now let's say the part's not okay and it's still not okay, and then you try to hit the knee switch to do a crimp. Nothing, right? Now part's okay. We did the crimp, lube stay on, boom, go off. So we're making hoses, and everything's wonderful. We've got our happy light on, vibes on, and all of a sudden something goes wrong. So the operator says, oh, I better hit the e stop. He hit the e stop, and as you can see, we're not happy anymore. We're not vibing. We have no outputs. Now I'm going to hit the knee switch and try to do a crimp. Nothing. Doesn't work. Okay? The only way to make it work again, hit your reset. Everything's happy. Can we crimp? Yes, we can crimp. And then they go off. And we continue. So there you have it. Our dream has become reality. 
you've got the control panel that you've always been wanting. And we did it here at D-Lab and Olivet Machine. Hope you enjoyed the video.